So if you want to use CM tool, um, go to this website, github.com slash I'm killing slash CM tool. Um, and then scroll down to installing. Um, click the hyperlink for here, right here. And then you want to download the CM tool dot zip and the source code zip to your download folder. Um, once you extract them, the, you should have two folders. Um, but you may have one folder in your downloads called CM Tools. Um, I put them both in my documents, so look in your document folder. There should be another one called CM Tool without the S. CM Tools basically has your concept matrix and your concept matrix updater. Um, and CM Tool has the matrix saves where you're going to put your post files that you download. I have all mine here. So after you have the both CM tool folders, after extracting files from the website, the first thing you want to do is you want to get a pose. There's two ways to get a pose. You could go to Final Fantasy mod site and search by category for the concept matrix pose. Or you can join the text tools discord, which I did. I just searched up Final Fantasy 14 text tools discord and I found the website that had the link. So mine actually is right in the pose channel. This is where I like to browse like new poses by content creators that are free because a lot of them you have, maybe have to pay for if they like have a Patreon or something. But you can get you can get free poses off the mod site in here. Um, so I'm just gonna do download a random one just to show you guys how to use it. Um, I should let me download this one. I'll do this one. So I downloaded that. It'll go into your download folder, obviously. And then what you're going to do is you're going to copy it or cut it. And then you want to find the CM tool folder and put it in the matrix saves. Like that. I have a lot already, so. Next you want to go to your game once you have that. Make sure you're in G pose. That's the first thing you want to do. What I like to do next, I like to freeze my, my character so she does not move. Then open up the CM tool application. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm already in it, but you want to go to the site, the second folder for CM tools that has the application and double click on it. I would avoid starting it from your desktop because it sometimes errors. It works better if you open it from the file explorer. So it opened open it behind your game or in front of your game like I'm doing. Next you want to go to the posing matrix tab, load CMP file. We're going to just double click on the one I just downloaded. Okay, and your girl should automatically snap into the position. But a lot of the times they're going to look wonky like this, like my girl is floating, because the poses are either made on an object for a certain race, for a certain gender so you definitely most likely will have to tweak your pose and you can use this tool for it so what we're gonna do is go to actor data we're gonna move my position first so we're gonna we use the X Y and Z position right here these three to move my position in game and this is why I also said I like to freeze my character because if you do not freeze your character with the one key or whatever you have it bound to in G-Pose, your girl will snap back and it is it is annoying so I would definitely freeze your character. Um, so we're going to get her on the ground actually because the rock is not a great place for her. Um, I only have one monitor so I apologize. <laughs> Let me tweak. So I'm going to bring her to the ground. Oh, that's... You gotta click the, the plus and minus and just like work your way around. Up and down. I like to just give it a few clicks. If you hold it for too long, it'll like jump and mess it up. 
So, let me go ahead and make sure it's good. So I'm going to use this cube right here to rotate her. Um, you can rotate her all different types of directions. Um, left click will rotate her left and right. Middle mouse button will rotate them like kind of upwards and downwards like this. You can go completely backwards or completely forwards. Right click will do like sideways. So let me look at the positions for her boots. I'm going to rotate her that way and bring her back to the towards the camera. I have to get her front foot on the platform. Like that. Give her another rotate. Move her up some. Yeah, this pose is definitely uh, not liking my character. I'll tell you that. To make it look natural, you definitely want to tweak it as much as you want. I have to bring her forward. Okay, I think... I think I'm almost there. I'm using the cube to rotate her. Okay, it looks kind of weird, but I guess that's just the way the pose is. She looks kind of slanted. Um, but it, I think that's how it's supposed to be because of the way her boots are positioned. So her boots are perfectly fine. They're not clipping to the ground at all. It looks normal. Um, okay, so that's good. And this pose looks good too, so I don't have to tweak any of her body parts. Um, you can always add like lightings or whatever you want. Um, I'm going to show you a pose I just downloaded where I would have to tweak her body parts if you want to tweak body parts. Um, I just, this one, I when I put her on the ground, I had to tweak her foot. So I'm going to bring her to the ground. And of course, I'm going to have to rotate her because I don't want any of her body parts to clip into the ground because it makes it look unnatural. Okay, so you see how her heel is clipping? So in order, how I fix that is if you want to tweak body parts, go to the Posing Matrix tab. And on the bottom right, you'll see all these body parts you can body parts, face pieces, you can tweak. So I'm going to try tweaking her foot or calf, which, whichever is easier. You always want to take the best route. So I tweaked her calf. It, it fixed the clipping. Um, if you want to change the toes, maybe add a little more bend, you can do that too. You can also tweak arms to oh her hand is clipping so <laughs> let's see if I can do anything about that sometimes it's best to leave it alone for the screenshot if you can't see it anyways so if I took a picture it was like if I was going to take a picture from the front it's most likely not best to mess with the back but you could always try so I'm going to go to her hands and I'm going to do her right hand. So there we go. So I tweaked her right hand. And I moved it. So it's not really clipping. However, her thumb is clipping a little bit. So if you really want to fix that. I mean, that's pretty good. It's not the best, but it will definitely have to do. It's not too far in the ground. But you can move our sorts of body parts if you want to fix your pose in any way. And if you want to make your own poses, you can. It takes a long time. You can save your 
CMP, CMP file and then work on it later. You just re-upload it and just continue from where you left off. Um, I'm also going to show you how to do like a couple pose. So I'm going to snap back into my original position. So if you have a couple pose that has male and female, or female and female, male and male, um, you can actually manipulate other people too. So you just click on them. You can kind of tell when it selected them because they get like a little white. Open your C concept matrix tool, load the file. So I'm going to load, I'm going to load a male one. And then I'm going to load on me. I'm going to click myself, load the female one. So if you want to get close together, just you got to go back to the actor data manipulate your position so I'm gonna manipulate myself behind her I'm gonna use the cube to rotate I'm gonna use left click to rotate her And this one's going to clip a lot, but there's, you know, you can always perfect it if you want. You could always take off the hat. Um, you know, mess around with the feet so that it's not clipping. It might be hard for this type of terrain because it's slanted. It's definitely clipping though. But you can always move to flatter terrain. So I'm, I can actually move her to the ground over there. The only problem with moving them too far, you don't want to stray too far from the G pose area because the camera will only go will only go so much, so far. So I'm just gonna do right on the ground where I did my last pose. Oh, that was too much. <laughs> it might take some tweaking. Definitely, I spend a lot of time tweaking, tweaking, adding new angles, new body parts, positions. Like, it takes like two min one minute to get the pose uploaded, but then you have to spend 10 minutes trying to get a good fix. So I'm going to bring my girl over there. The more you hold it, it like will jump for a second, so like that, so be careful. Okay, and make sure to change your angle so you know that you're actually on the ground. You might need to work with your camera because, like I said, you can only go so far from your position. Okay, let me finish putting her on the ground. I think I need to rotate her forward, so I'm going to use the middle mouse button to actually rotate her forward. And then backwards a little bit. Okay, that's, that looks a lot... Wait. <laughs> that, this is why I said change your angles. Yeah. I, I have terrible depth perception. I could not tell. I was not behind her. Yeah, always change your angles. <laughs> but now it's perfect. Perfect. Look at that. Look at the cute little back-to-back. -back. My hat is definitely clipping the hell out of her. Um, you can always take the hat off, but it's so cute, and then you can add, um, like a lighting or something above, I don't know. The lighting is okay, but, you know, add something, add a filter. But yeah, that's how you modify other people. I can modify this guy, too. <laughs> We're gonna give him, a, a, like, a cute, like, a safe pose, though. Just as an example, we're going to give him a prayer, Zelda Pray, but he's he's stabbed himself with a sword, so that's not good. It's not the best when you have weapons out for some poses. Um, you 
Yeah, weapons aren't the best. Um, some poses, there's weapon poses, but it's harder when they have weapons out. It's better when you're just doing an emote or something. Also, um, I, I don't, I rarely use this, but if you want to change the, if you're having issues with your camera, like, angles, because of how we, man like, manipulated our positions, you can actually use the, um, the world tool to, like, kind of tweak that, too. Like, if you, if you do, like, camera angle Y, you can, like, lift it, or X, you can do it sideways, camera pan Y. Um, you can kind of, like zoom in as well too so you can definitely tweak it um it kind of like bypasses what the the g pose allows kind of so yeah oh also if you exit g pose it all goes away so that's how you use it if you have any questions let me know